Hey, Jay here. We're the latest project. This is a Dirt Rider magazine project bike. We're out here with Pete and Chris Kiefer from uh, Dirt Rider. We're going to go uh, take a big spin on this KTM 350. What we've done is we fixed up a beat up old 2013 KTM 350 and we kind of made it an off road bike. Uh, it's more, you know, GP racing type deal. 18 inch rear wheel, got the big tank, hand guards. And since it's a little bit older, not a current motocross bike, we set it up so that we can uh, use this thing for off road use. A uh, buddy of mine got this for a good deal, and we've been fixing it up. Um, a good deal was probably uh, not a good deal enough, because it, it took a ton of work to get this thing uh, looking good again. And so uh, we're going to go see what uh, Dirt Rider thinks of this thing right now. So we took the entire engine out of the frame, of course, and powder coated the frame. Before we powder coated the frame, we had to take it to a welder and fix a few of the spots that had been caved in from this previous use. We think this bike was used for enduro cross and really smashed up. So we got that fixed up, then got the frame powder coated. Uh, we use San Diego powder coating here in California. You want to find a good quality place if you have your own. For the motor, we took the entire motor apart. Internally, most of the parts were really good. So all we ended up changing out was the piston. We put a Vertex high compression piston in there and all new gaskets and seals. And of course, it needed a new clutch. It had been hammered, so we got a Henson clutch in this thing. Got the CV4 hoses, FMF pipe and silencer. While it was apart, we did modify the throttle body. And we had injectioneering go through the throttle body. And that's a really good mod we found over the years for these things. Through Rocky Mountain ATV MC.com, Tusk has a great wheel set that are really good value. And they come, you can get 18 inch rear wheels. And so we have those for this KTM project here. Got an 18 inch rear wheel, mount up to Dunlop AT81 tires. And in the front, same thing. Tusk front wheel paired up with a oversized Tusk front rotor. So we have the Tusk brake line. And we were able to find a good deal on some, some used X-Trig clamps that we put on this thing, which are just amazing for this bike, along with our Renthal twin wall bars and Sykra rebound handguards. And the suspension, of course, needed to be gone through. So factory connection went through, freshened up the suspension and set it up for our off-road type use. On this bike, one of the uh, important mods we did here was have the radiators straightened. They were really bent up. ICW went through and straightened them, and then they brace them up as well, so for added strength. There's some really cool frame guards by Atrubis for added protection of the frame, keeping your nice powder-coated frame looking good. We have our zip tie shark fin, our custom graphics by Attack with our moto seat and this is all on Sykra full plastic kit the IMS oversized tank provides plenty of fuel for those long motos and long trail rides IMS also has some very good foot pegs along with a tusk rear brake hey everybody it's Chris Kiefer from Dirt Rider magazine and dirtrider.com we just wrapped up here at Glen Helen Raceway on the project KTM 350. Um, it was a fun day. Check it out on our site, dirtrider.com.